Welcome to this instructional video for the Dave Smith Instruments Pro 2 editor from SoundTower. Before we begin using the Pro 2 editor, we must confirm that the Pro 2 is set up to send and receive information correctly to allow the editor and Pro 2 to communicate with each other. On the Pro 2, push the global button. The OLED screen will change to this display. The first parameter we need to confirm is the MIDI channel. We can select any of the 16 available MIDI channels we wish, but for now, let's use all. Next, scroll down to MIDI parameter send. You can select off, CC, and NRPN. CC stands for continuous controller and NRPN stands for non-registered parameter number. Continuous controllers are the basic set of parameters available over MIDI. These include things like volume, pan, and program changes. And as we mentioned, NRPN stands for non-registered parameter numbers, and these can be defined as needed by instrument and software developers to control many more parameters than could ever be done through continuous controllers. For the Pro 2 to communicate with the editor, we need to select NRPN. This, along with MIDI parameter receive set to NRPN, allows the editor to control all the parameters of the Pro 2. This also assures that any changes that are made to the controls on the front panel of the Pro 2 will be reflected in the editor window. We will confirm that once we get the other settings on the Pro 2 set up. So as mentioned, set MIDI parameter receive to NRPN. Confirm that MIDI control enable is set to on. This turns on the communication path. Next, set MIDI SysX to on. SysX is short for system exclusive, and this is set to allow additional data to be exchanged between the Pro 2 and the editor. Next, you'll need to select the type of cable you are using to connect the Pro 2 to the computer. Most current instruments incorporate a USB port to allow easy connection. However, in larger rigs, sometimes a traditional multi-port interface is used, requiring the use of standard 5-pin MIDI cables. For this example, we will use the USB connection. Set MIDI SysX cable to USB. Set MIDI out select to USB. Once these settings are complete, click the global button and exit the setup screen. Next, let's open the Pro 2 editor. Click on MIDI, then MIDI Setup. Your screen may appear somewhat different depending on if you're on a Mac or PC or what your exact MIDI setup is in your studio. Here we see the Pro 2 appearing as an available connection. Confirm that the global MIDI channel is set to all. If we click on the Pro 2 on the import side and the Pro 2 on the outport side, we see that the Pro 2 is now online. Once the Pro 2 is showing online, we can exit this window. To confirm the connection, we can adjust parameters on the Pro 2 and they will be reflected on the editor. And we can adjust the parameter on the editor and it will be received by the Pro 2. For those using a standard MIDI interface, on the Pro 2, set MIDI SysX cable to MIDI and set the MIDI out select to MIDI and again back to the editor. Click MIDI and click MIDI Setup. To keep it simple for this demonstration, I have the Pro 2 connected through an old two-port MIDI MAN interface. The Pro 2 is connected through the A, in and out ports. If I select those two ports in this window, the Pro 2 again comes back online and is ready for editing. And again, we can confirm the connection. If we adjust parameters on the Pro 2, they will be reflected in the editor and we can adjust a parameter on the editor and it will be received by the Pro 2. The Pro 2 and the Pro 2 editor are now communicating correctly. We hope you'll enjoy using the SoundTower Pro 2 editor to reach inside this powerful instrument.